Hello and welcome to today's online video tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at Microsoft Visio. I'm using the 2007 version and what I want to do today is I want to create a scale drawing. Uh, now the way to get started for this is I'm going to go to the file menu and from the file menu I'm going to choose new. Now if I wanted to I could go to straight into a drawing but um, uh, what I need is the stencils to be open for all of the uh, various shapes, walls and so forth that I'm going to use. Um, so uh, it's a much easier job to use a template and the templates are already listed here as you can see. If I go down to maps and floor plans in here I'm going to choose office layout metric. Okay, So click on that and up comes a, a blank sheet of paper and as you can see as I say the shapes of the stencils here are already. So you can see I've got cubicles, office accessories, office equipment, office furniture and walls, doors and windows. Now firstly because we're going to create a scale drawing here I want to make a drawing scale. So how you do that is go to file menu, click on file, about halfway down you've got page setup and from page setup if you see here the third tab across is drawing scale so I'm going to click on that and because I'm in the UK it's already selected metric for me which is fine but I'm going to change the drawing scale from 1 to 25 because that's quite small I'm going to change that to 1 to 50. Okay now down here you can see that the page size because I'm using an A4 sheet of paper has been changed now to 14.85 meters by 10.5 meters and if I go back to print setup you can see that there's my printer paper A4 and in fact my page size is also the same it's A4 okay so I'm going to apply that and say OK. As soon as I do that you can see that the rulers here have now changed and they're now calibrated to the drawing scale that I've chosen. Okay so we go to 14.85 by 10.5 meters. Right, so every centimeter now that I use is the equivalent of 50 centimeters in the real world. Okay now over here on the walls, doors and windows stencils you can see that I've got room, L-shaped room, T-shaped room and so forth. Curved walls, ordinary walls and you can use these if you want to and um, there's nothing to stop you doing that and in fact a lot of architectural work is done that way. For this demonstration I just want to show you a quick and easy way to do this and that is by using this shape here called space. If I drag space across onto my page you can see that a well, couple of things here. As I move it you see it's actually sticking to the lines in the grid so I've got snap to grid enabled here. If I let go of it, click away so that you can see it, it's actually given me a standard size 3 by 3 meters so my area is displayed in the center there 9 square meters. Well that's not much of an office so I'm going to make that bigger so I'm going to click on the corner on the handle when my cursor changes shape from a pointer to a double-headed arrow and drag. If you drag a corner like this it means that your um, relationship between length and breadth is maintained, your aspect ratio. Okay so I'm going to drag that out so I've now got 49 square meters that's fine and um, that will do. Now I've got a box on a page it doesn't really mean very much what I need is to change this into a building or an office of some sort. So if you go up to the plan menu and choose this option here convert to walls forgot to select it you need to select the shape first then go to plan and convert to walls and just thinking about it there we go up comes the convert to walls dialog box and you can see in here that it's going to delete the original geometry because I'm asking it to um, but if I want to I can add guides here and I can also add dimensions. I'm going to add dimension lines so that um, this will look like an architectural drawing. Okay, so I'll put a tick in the box and click OK. And there we are. And as you can see, it's 7,000 or 7 meters square, which gives us an area of 49 meters. Okay, so far so good. And the next tutorial will add some walls, doors, and windows. Thanks for watching.